what comes next. We want to bring on criminal defense attorney Nicole DeBoard. Thank you so much, Nicole, for being with us here on the show. Do you have us? Uh, happy to be here. Perfect. So uh, hearing that latest update, I want to know what your initial thoughts were. You know, it's an interesting update. We don't have a lot of information that we might have. We don't know exactly who the human remains might belong to, and we'll all be waiting for the forensics to tell us a little bit more about that. Um, and uh, we're also waiting for information about the forensics on the items that were found. So I think that uh, we received some information that tells us that the investigation is certainly progressing, but we are definitely all waiting for more based on that update. As the lawyer for um, the Laundry family, we know it's Stephen Berlino. The media has gotten to know him very well because he's been the point person as far as getting information about what they're thinking, what they're saying. You know, how would you be preparing moving forward? So if I'm the investigators preparing, uh, you know, I'm making sure that I am not making any assumptions about the evidence that I'm finding. And if I am the defense lawyer uh, who is preparing, I am making sure that what information I am hearing is being gathered is being properly vetted and not uh, overstated in some way that makes it something that it's not. Yeah, we had actually the Laundry family going to um, the Carlton Reserve today. I wanna to pull up some of those videos. You can see the cell phone video right here. And I've been asking all of the experts we've had on the show, you know, what kind of role are the parents gonna be playing in this investigation? Because if it is true that it's Brian Laundrie's uh, remains that are the ones that have been found today, uh, they're the only ones who are alive to tell the tale. You're exactly right. I mean, and there are no winners in this case. I mean, it's heartbreaking. And at the end of the day, the laundry parents are still parents and whatever happened and whatever they knew about, they're still having to process the information that they're receiving and that the human remains that may have been found may very well be those of their son. That doesn't make it any easier, no matter what we think happened in this circumstance. And so I think they're going to have a lot of processing to do over the coming days. So when we finally do get that update, um, we have forensics who are on the scene, who are obviously going to be very diligent in collecting all of the evidence. What should we be looking for next? I think that we should be looking for more potential updates about the meaning of the little pieces of information and evidence that were disclosed today in the press conference. Uh, in other words, do we have confirmation that this is actually the body of Brian Landry or is it someone else? Um, whose backpack was this? Even though they indicated it might be his, what was in it? What information did they have to guide them to this particular location? I think there are a lot of details that we can expect to hear about moving forward. It was a very quick press conference and not a whole lot of information. They're not taking any reporter questions. Do you think that that's because they're still looking into this? Do you think it's possible that they will have a more in-depth press conference soon? Is that pretty standard? I think it's pretty standard and the law enforcement who is investigating the case really need to be careful that they are really looking strictly at uh, evidence and not at whatever pre assumptions that they may have made about what they found so far. You can make mistakes as law enforcement when you start presupposing. So you need to take each shred of evidence that you're finding and independently evaluate it. Also, they don't want to give all that information out to the public so that people could change their reactions potentially to the information or what information they may already have that they may not know currently is helpful so that investigators can reach out to them and get their honest opinion without outside influence. Right. So if they do nail this down, I mean, you can assume that they'll be bringing in people who possibly could have been uh, on the Carlton Reserve at that time, and you're actually taking a look at some aerial shots of the Carlton Reserve where they ended up finding this evidence here. Um, yeah, how, how does that change the case uh, if it is confirmed that it is Brian Laundrie? You know, do they still continue pursuing charges in some capacity because um, it's a mystery as to who killed Gabby Petito? 
I think that they continue to pursue the investigation, but they can't pursue charges against a person who is deceased. So mm -hmm. that portion of it would end. Um, what might not end is an investigation into what the parents may or may not have known and what they may or may not have done to potentially conceal information they had or to assist in potential fleeing by Brian Laundry, if that is at all on their radar. Yeah, because remember, um, the Petito family was really calling on the laundries to come forward and Brian, when he hadn't gone missing, um, to, to help in that investigation. And they were still tight-lipped even when she hadn't been found yet. And now they're remaining tight-lipped uh, when it comes to this search as well. As we said, uh, Chris and Roberta, the mother and father, uh, were out there today and actually led the search parties to the location where they end up finding it. So um, lots of questions remaining on that. Anything else that you're going to be following, Nicole, into the next couple of days? I'm definitely waiting to hear more about what forensics they're going to release to the public and what, if any, information they'll release about what the parents knew about this location and how the police ended up there in the first place. Yeah, it's hard to know because we don't, they're only saying human remains right now. They're not saying a body and with the conditions that this Carlton Reserve uh, presents, it doesn't seem like a body would do very well in those conditions. So uh, if they were there, probably not able to identify him. Would that be a correct assumption? Right. It's a great observation. And, you know, that's assuming that this body has been there for some period of time. One mm -hmm. of the other things I really would like to know is if they can give us a, an approximate date that these uh, that the body and potentially the backpack and other materials that were found were that were, were put there. Right, how long they've been there because uh, they've been searching for weeks now and if he was alive running around in the reserve and, and they were searching, that's pretty impressive, honestly. I agree and uh, and I think it could be telling, you know, for example, did, did he put himself there? Uh, is whoever this is Brian Laundry, and did he go there? Mm -hmm. uh, did someone else put him there? Right. Uh, these are These are unanswered questions. Right, cause of death. Uh, so we're going to go through all of this again uh, because we just went through with the final autopsy coming out last week with Gabby Petito and uh, possibly with, with Brian Laundrie moving forward as well. Anything else that you uh, are going to be keeping your eyes on or, or want to mention about this case? You know, I think it's always very difficult when something so upsetting uh, like this happens. We all uh, have enormous heartbreak for the family of Gabby Petito. And ultimately, if there would be a trial, if this isn't Brian Laundry, um, he's got to have one day a trial in a courtroom that can consider all of the legal aspects at, almost in a vacuum uh, without making predeterminations. So law enforcement, the prosecution, all of those players in the investigation of this case have to very uh, meticulously collect evidence in such a way as to not create bias in the collection. Uh, so I will be interested in hearing how they got to some of the answers that they have um, so that we can one day know whether or not we'll get a full assessment of this in a courtroom. All right. Nicole with the board, thank you so much, criminal defense attorney, for uh, coming on the show and bringing us your expertise. We appreciate it. Sure. Thanks for having me.